Okay, well this is my first screen capture and uh, we're going to talk about a ball being thrown up in the air. Um, so here's a scenario. Ground, this is the ball. The ball gets thrown up in the air with an initial velocity V0, certain number of meters per second. And uh, to put a strobe diagram in for that or a motion diagram, it will look something like this. I'm going to offset the uh, ball off to the right here so that the dots don't go right on top of each other. So these are equal time intervals. Starting here, I'll, I will number them. That's the apex. Position 4 as I've labeled it. And the ball returns to Earth. So let's think about this in terms of uh, position, velocity, and acceleration. And uh, a good way to start this particular um, problem is to is to sketch out what the position versus velocity uh, time is. So that's what this plot is going to be. So this is going to be velocity units meters per second versus time units seconds and uh, the velocity is going to uh, start at V naught and then it's going to decrease uniformly um, at a rate of uh, minus G so the slope for, of this uh, curve here is going to be minus G naught. This point right here is V naught that corresponds to the beginning velocity when the velocity is zero right here that is the apex and the um, equation for that velocity versus time curve is V equals V naught minus G T, G being the acceleration of gravity. Okay, let's do acceleration next. Acceleration is going to look like this. Acceleration. Acceleration units, meters per second per second. Um, versus time is going to be a constant minus g. Constant acceleration assuming that there's no air drag. All right, now the last one to do, the hardest one is position. And that's going to look like this. Um, I'm going to call position y vertical. Units are going to be meters. And so y will be the distance from the ground to wherever the ball is, like that. And um, I'm going to draw a line, dotted line, down here through the apex. And so the ball will go up to the apex, and then it will come back down again, like that. Um, so this is the apex condition. Note that the uh, tangent line here has zero slope corresponding to this being zero. Um, so this puts it all together. Um, we have an equation for this. We have an equation for this. We don't have an equation for that. The equation for this would be y is equal to y naught plus v naught t minus one half g t squared. Since I'm throwing from uh, the ground, um, this y0 term becomes 0, and so we can, uh, we can get rid of that if we want. That's it.